of projections see basically we are having four types of projection first angle projection second angle projection third angle projection and fourth angle projection if you try to observe here we will try to have a basic glimpses an object is there here okay so let us assume that this is an object which we are seeing here in the blue color form and this is the person who is going to look the object okay and here the distance will be very 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 infinite also as we have termed it we are not mentioning the distance here in the parallel projection and he can able to see the parallel if if a line is drawn onto this particular thing this projection will be going on falling on the surface okay so this is the first plane of first angle of projection so the object will be in between person to profile projection or the projection plane next if you go with the second case if you go if you take with the same object next if you take the some taper block so the person is seeing from this particular side okay so basically it will be represented in the form of a taper shape a convergent and divergent nozzle case we can able to see a shape like this and if you see from the side view it, the projection will is going to be fall here and if this particular plane is going to be folded okay so we will get a shape like this automatically the symbol will be become like this okay so that is the basic thing how we are representing the first angle projection in most of the diagrams okay so this is the symbol for representing of a first angle projection we are seeing from this side this view is going to be fall here and if you are seeing from side side this view is going to be fall here if you try to fold this fold then we will get a side by side so that's why we are representing it as a first angle projection next third angle projection see observe the object is behind behind this profile plane as well as the person or the person who is trying to view he will be at the in front in front of this particular profile plane and this is the plane projection plane and if he is a tree he is seeing this particular object assume that this one is a transparent since it is a transparent i can able to see it and seeing this one and this is going to be represent here the diagram is going to be represent here okay and here if you try to observe the object is behind since in the earlier case it was a front view but this object is here and if you are trying to see here we will get the same shape but this one we are seeing from this side the object is going to be present here so if i try to fold this particular plane i'll get the object here so the third angle symbol will be like this okay in the earlier case the first angle symbol it is going to look like this okay this is the first angle symbol okay and this is the first one see the difference okay with respect to the planes we are seeing the difference and apart from this one we are having second angle projection also in the second angle projection horizontal plane coincide with the vertical plane whereas the horizontal plane rotates in clockwise direction okay and here due to this what happens is these two projection planes will get overlap so therefore there is no possibility in representation of the diagram that's why uh, there is no there is a difficulty in representing of this second angle projection and fourth angle projection in the similar case in the fourth angle also hp coincides with what uh, vertical plane when horizontal plane rotates in clockwise direction so due to this the same case again so because of in the earlier case hp is getting coincide with vp plane cannot be rotated the same case here also the clockwise plane cannot be rotated so this will this is also impossible to represent so fourth angle projection is also not possible okay not possible in the sense it is difficult to represent it that's all so these are the three types the four types of planes on most of the cases we will represent first angle second angle third angle and fourth angle as a major entity what is the differences between a first angle and the third angle projection because most of the people because the basic differences which we have seen from the diagrammatic represent is in the first angle projection the object and the person will be in front of the projection plane so we can say that 
in between the projection plane and the person the object is going to be placed okay so that is what we can able to see here whereas in the third angle projection in between the object and the person the profile plane is going to be present profile plane and here the plane of projection is a non transparent because the projection will be fall on the outer side it will be a non transparent but here the plane of projection will be a transparent because we have to see the object once we can able to see the object then the plane can be extracted clearly next the front view is done above the x y line if you try to assume here this is the x and y line okay the front view can be drawn above the x y line whereas the top view can be drawn below the x y line whereas in the k in this case the front view is drawn below x y line here the front view is drawn below x y line and top view is drawn above x y line so this is the top view this is the front view but here in this case it will be front view here and top view here that is a basic difference next right side view drawn to the left side of the elevation so the view which we are seeing from the side it is going to be fall on the profile plane if you see from the left side we have to represent that one as a left side view on the right side if you see from the right side we have to represent that one as a right side view on the left side of the diagram whereas here the right side view is drawn on the right side of the elevation only okay and this is most of the cases it is commonly used in india and european countries and this is mostly used in us and australian countries that is the basic differences between the first angle and third angle projection we will consider an object which is having a multiple views why this is going to be term it as a multiple view like that uh, so many misconceptions will be there why we have to term it as a multiple views and all and basically here we can able to infer six principal views six principal views if you try to observe a is the view which we are seeing from the front side b from the top view c from the left side from respect to a and d is from right side with respect to a and e is from bottom view f is from rear view so how the views are going to be look like if you try to observe so in this particular view we can able to see this face and this face so this is represented here and from the top surface we can able to see only this face and some kind of uh, edge also we can see so that's why we are representing this view and this view and this particular surface also we can represent so like this so basically depending upon the views we are having case here i, I will represent here front view top view this is uh, view, uh, c is the case which we are viewing from the left side left hand side view and this one is a right hand side view and e is going to be represent from the bottom surface okay so from the bottom view bottom view and this one is rear view okay so you can able to see here okay in this particular uh, table i have quoted all these things which he, which we are going to be represent so a is going to be designated as the front and b is going to be designated above c the left like this and so on so forth okay